I'm Peg, a docent here at the Zanesville Museum of Art. And my fellow docents and I have been giving talks on different principles or techniques that artists use in their artwork. And today, my, my principle is emphasis. Now, emphasis is anything that an artist uses to get you to look at a specific part of the painting. So if you're not sure what that is, if you're the kid playing outside like I was, and I'd be way down at my friend's house, I could get away with my mom yelling for me two, three times until she got to all three names. When I got to all three names, I better hightail at home. That's emphasis. And um, women who wear makeup use emphasis all the time. They might have pretty eyes, so they put on a lot of eyeshadow. They might want to show off that kissable mouth, so they put on their lipstick. Anything that draws attention. They also use something called de-emphasis, and that's when you put on concealer to cover up those wonderful zits that everybody seems to get. In a house, when, it, when a designer is telling you what to do, you're, you're going to look for something, especially in your, like your living room, to, Pay, draw your attention to a specific wall in the room. So they might paint that wall a different color from all the other walls. That might be the wall that has the fireplace. It's the wall that is the main feature in that room. So when you're thinking of art, just think, what do you see as the main feature in your artwork? And in different artwork, artists use different techniques. They use light, they use color, they use line, they even break the line, or they throw in something totally unusual. Like you might see a row of dogs and all of a sudden there's an elephant. That would be emphasis. It's whatever they're using to get you to look at the painting. So we're going to look at this beautiful painting. It's an Ohio landscape around 1850. Ohio became a state in 1803, but we were still settling parts of Ohio in the 1850s. Some of the counties on the western side of the state didn't, didn't really um, develop until the 1850s, 1860s. So this beautiful um, landscape features a rail splitter, and I know we all know who the most famous rail splitter is, but that's, what this, that's what's going on. And I just want you to take a few seconds and we're going to do something called a slow looking exercise. So I'm going to quit talking and we're going to let you focus on the painting and then I'll come back after we're done. I hope you enjoyed that slow looking exercise. It's a great way to get a better look at art and when I'm looking at this painting, I see a couple things that the artist does to draw emphasis. One of the things is his use of straight and curvy lines. If you look through here, you see all these straight fences, but he also adds this curve right through here that draws your eye all the way to the back of the painting. Another thing is his use of light. We have light filtering in from right to left. So you've got another use of that the artist is trying to draw your attention. And finally, he uses a little bit of color. And in this, and I truly believe that this, this gentleman is our focal point. He is the emphasis. All around him is grays and blues, and yet we have this bright splash of red. So if you thought that that was the emphasis, wonderful. If you didn't, that's fine too, because everybody sees different things in their artwork. I do want to draw your attention to this one, one piece because I think it's the coolest thing in the painting. Look down here at this log. I think that's a wonderful log. It looks like an alligator to me. Look at it and see what you think. And have a great day. Come visit us soon.